Evolutionists claim the Earth and the universe are millions and billions of years old. The Bible tells us that God created it all 6,000 years ago. But if the Earth is billions of years old, as evolution claim, please then explain to me the following. We have the rings around Jupiter and Saturn decaying too quickly for this to be millions and billions of years old. Efforts to locate sufficient binding forces have failed. And I quote, a growing number of astronomers believe that the rings of Saturn are constantly changing due to fragmentation of moonlets and the input of new ring particles. You see, as these things are bouncing together in the rings, they break apart into smaller and smaller pieces. The gravity is causing the inner rings to stretch and become drawn into the planet. The ones on the edge are being thrown away from the planet and being lost into space. And the, the rings are widening and they're being destroyed very, very quickly they cannot possibly be old. You see, 350 years of research done by the scientist Alexander showed that Saturn's rings are spreading toward the planet and into it at about 62 miles an hour, about 100 kilometers an hour. These rings cannot possibly be old, they must be young. And Saturn's prominent C ring was not observed until 1848, but the great astronomer, William Herschel, makes absolutely no mention of the C ring in his observations. And I quote, therefore, that it must be inferred that they were not conspicuous at the time of his observations. We have to conclude that this ring is rapidly growing and that the rings of Saturn are probably comparatively recent introductions to the solar system. Well, I should say, yes, they are recent. They were created 6,000 years ago on day four of the week of creation. But we're not finished. You see, again, the rings of Jupiter, Saturn, they are decaying quickly. If the ring particles, and I quote here, reach the outer edge of the rings, they leave the ring system completely. Ground-based observations discovered the D ring before the Voyager uh, satellite reached there. Uh, these particles are spiraling into Saturn. The individual ring particles, I quote, um, well, they work their way slowly inward. If they move inward far enough, they are destroyed. You see, the ring particles of Jupiter and Uranus as well also show the same behavior. And so we know that the rings of Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, are being destroyed rapidly in nature. They cannot possibly be old. We can conclude, therefore, some total. Particles in the outer rings dissipate into space. Those in the inner rings fall toward the planet. They cannot be the millions and millions of years old that evolution has claimed. They simply would have ceased to exist by this time. Therefore, you really can trust the Bible about a recent creation only 6,000 years ago that God did make the sun, the moon, the stars at the same time. That these rings are in fact young. Science proves that that is true. Therefore you really can trust the Bible that it is all only 6,000 years old.